friends welcome back in this tutorial we will study about dual mode operation now to ensure proper execution of operating system there must be a way to distinguish between user code and operating system code now for this purpose what happens one bit is maintained in hardware right that bit is called mode bit right when the mode bit is zero Right? then the system is set to be in kernel mode and when this mode bit is 1 then the system is set to be in user mode right so whenever the computer executes uh, some uh, code on behalf of user application then it is set to be in user mode and at that time this mode bit will be 1 right now when the operating system gains control over the computer system then it is set to be in kernel mode and at that time this mode bit should be zero right this kernel mode it is also called supervisor mode right and system mode right and it is also called privileged mode right so what happens whenever the computer system is executing on behalf of a user application then the system is in user mode right mm -hmm. but what happens when this application right when this user application requests a service from operating system right through system call right whenever the user application request some service from operating system through system call then that time there must be a transition from user mode to kernel mode right so what happens at system boot time The hardware starts in kernel mode right at system boot time the hardware starts in kernel mode and then operating system is loaded right and after that user applications start in user mode right so what happens is system before passing control to a user program right it always switches to user mode right before passing control to a user program system switches to user mode right now how we can protect the operating system from errant users and how we can protect errant users from each other right so for this purpose what we do some of the machine instructions which can cause harm right they are designated as privileged instructions right so what are the privileged instructions these are the machine instructions which can cause harm right so hardware allows these privileged instructions to be executed only in kernel mode if some attempt is made to execute a privileged instruction in user mode then hardware will not execute the instruction right so what happens those machine instructions which can cause harm they are designated as privileged instructions and they are executed only in kernel mode if an attempt is made to execute them in user mode then hardware will not execute these privileged instructions in user mode 